Week number four for Eloise. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers are trying to lose a stone in six weeks. Hi. Hello. I like the way you say trying to lose a stone. <laughs> I know previous it was they will lose a stone and I think as we're halfway through or more than halfway through it's more the trying bless we're them. trying yes <laughs> giving it a good go <laughs> so what is the news from the scales two pounds well done oh. two and a half no just two I'll, I'll do two and a half we can pretend <laughs> no we'll go well, I'm not bothered into the little points after the numbers. I don't, yeah, we'll, so we'll just go for two. We'll round it. Which does mean you've got your Harper Stone certificate. That's why I say, that's why you say trying to lose a stone, because <laughs> now you're going to tell me I've got two weeks to lose half a stone. I know, but I'm really happy the fact that you've lost um, half a stone in four weeks. It's better than putting half a stone on, isn't it? I, I keep telling myself that. Absolutely. <laughs> So what have you been doing this week, food-wise, exercise-wise? Same as normal. Nothing changes with me. You know, okay. my food time. It's pretty much the same-ish. I've tried to lay off the grains. I think you told me to do that. Yeah. I've tried to up the protein, but I don't know if I've upped it enough. So that's probably something we need to work on. Right. Let's have a little look through your food diary then. So this morning we had Rivita with eggs. And then for lunch today, we've had tomato soup with ham. Um, yeah, a little ham sandwich from the canteen. It was very okay. boring. And then some uh, fresh raspberries, blueberries, and an apple. Let's have a look at yesterday it was bran flakes in the morning. Uh, with some fruit uh, for lunch was a tuna salad with some salad cream and then some fruit afterwards and then for dinner was uh, mushrooms and eggs and bacon yeah olive oil those Great. turkey rashes I quite like those actually I think I prefer the turkey rashes to bacon actually yeah Definitely. and they're much lower in calories so you can have more no, I'll have a whole pack next time then. <laughs> right, Sunday was uh, smoked salmon and eggs with the Rivita. Yep. So this is where, when we're trying to cook down the grains, if possible, try to just have the smoked salmon and the eggs without the Rivita. Okay. And obviously try and have more smoked salmon and more eggs and make up for I it that way. I have a pack left. <laughs> oh, did you? yeah okay more eggs then the day before i know but i do already get through quite a few eggs don't worry i never really know on the on the i know before was i doing when i was doing like keto and stuff like that i think the eggs were going a bit crazy each week so um the the only I rule that, what a safe amount is to eat the only rule with eggs is you can actually have as many as you like you just need to have one day a week where you have no eggs Oh, okay. And that way you Why won't get... Then? So A, so you won't get intolerant to them. And B, so your digestion just has a break and doesn't get bunged up. Oh. So your, okay. your body actually doesn't like the same thing all the time. Yeah, um, yeah. And obviously, if you have eggs in particular, your body can uh, get intolerant to them. So yeah, don't so don't worry to. about... I it if it did that. <laughs> so don't worry about eggs. Have as many as you like. Especially if it means getting rid of bread and all those wheat products. Yeah. Uh, you had a very fishy day on Sunday because you had salmon. I, did, I didn't realise, did I? Oh, <laughs> I forgot I took salmon out the fridge, out the freezer for the night time. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I was swimming by the end of the day really? eh, with all that fish <laughs> inside me. Yeah. And then you had. But it's really the... nice because there does a little bit of honey on top of the salmon, only just a little tiny bit. And then I yeah. get some walnuts and I crush the walnuts up and then I sprinkle that over the um, salmon and then I just lay it on a bed of lemon and just roast it. Amazing. That sounds amazing. It is. And then you had the couscous with it uh, and then you had some of your stewed rhubarb from your garden. Garden. <laughs> I'm, I'm running out now. <laughs> Uh, Saturday is the salmon again, like you said. 
Uh, yeah. For lunch was peanut butter and apples. And then in the evening, chicken fillet with, oh, stir fry, chicken stir fry. Yeah. And again, a stir fry is a great option to, obviously, that has got no grains in there at all, which is good. Friday you can was... Quite veg in as well, can't I? Which is quite nice. If you've got any leftover veg, you can just whack it in. And, exactly. Yeah, really nice. Bran flakes on Friday. Uh, yogurt for lunch with some peanut butter and some apples. A snack of some almonds. Thursday, bran flakes for breakfast. Uh, lunch was turkey uh sunday dinner basically Roast. it was yeah it was a bit of a strain i didn't have it till very late in the day because i was out walking all morning so it was just something then i was out walking i was around the lakes um up at middleton trying to spot the eagle which i didn't spot oh. but i did come home with a smashed windscreen so that was a bonus how uh just on the a38 just to stone hit it so yeah oh, so my no. little trip to go and find an eagle actually cost me um a brand new windscreen oh dear yeah that's not good so no it wasn't a lot of food <laughs> because i didn't take anything with me. i was out walking remembered my water but no snacks um, and yeah. so it was uh something substantial when i got back and then the last day was wednesday where you had eggs on toast in the morning jacket potato for lunch and one of your lovely flapjack bars yeah, I was out walking again at night, went on a walk with a um, local, for the National Forest. So we went out and we didn't realise it was going to be so long. So when yeah. I got back, it was like nine o'clock at night and I thought, oh, it's far too late. <laughs> I think you messaged me and told me to have some um, yoghurt, which I didn't have in, uh, or some peanut butter and vegetables. Well, I didn't have any peanut butter in, so it was literally just go to bed, flapjack, done. <laughs> oh. No problem. No problem at all. So what I want you to do this coming week then is to uh, to to catch up with the other slimmers as well is again just to try and reduce those grains again. So throw my rye vita away, which I love. So well you can just save it for two weeks' time. Now rye vita is better. <laughs> rye vita <laughs> is still better than bread. However, yeah. just the purposes of losing weight, you know, for the next couple yeah. of weeks, if we just try and get rid of all the grains, that will be good. But make sure you're replacing your grain product with something. So yeah. either your lovely vegetables at your garden or maybe make some roast vegetables. Even having some potatoes is much better than having grains. OK. Yeah, the old so, potatoes, you see, but I don't eat too many of them. Just because you don't like them or? No, I do like them. I just don't know if they like me, really. I'm, I just, I don't know. It's one of those that you always hear potatoes get quite a bad press, don't they? All stay off the of carbs and things like that. Yeah. But, but just I it, if I'm eating small ones with the skins on, then I'm getting the fibre from the skins. And also just remember that we're just trying to get rid of processed foods. And if you think about a rivita versus a potato, you know, yeah. Mother Nature bought it's you the potato the where the rivita is very processed. Yeah. Yeah. So this is a better way to, to look at it more than the old school dieting advice where they used to tell you to get rid of all the potatoes and stuff. Um, um, I'm just having a little look through your food diary. So, yeah, try and get rid of the bland, bran flakes for breakfast if you can. Yeah, I've been struggling because I've just been started. Like yesterday, I started work just after six and I can't have my eggs too early in the morning. I can't cook no. them at work. So it was like, take something, put loads of fruit in with it just to bulk it out a bit. So, yeah, it's when I'm in the office, it's it's kind of a bit difficult. If you Again, if you're on a time wise, maybe just some almonds or some Brazils and a piece of fruit and apple, something like that for breakfast. Yeah, I just like something to fill me up till lunch because I don't snack, you see. I think that's my thing. And I think that's why I do prefer my eggs because obviously I don't snack on them at all. I can go all the way through till lunch. What about some boiled eggs? Is that faster no. in the morning? What, to take with me to work? Or do you normally have your breakfast before you go? I try to sometimes, but it because I started so early yesterday, um, yeah. I didn't want to. And then sometimes you don't want to be taking eggs into the office. I don't think I'd be very happy. <laughs> what about yogurt? I know, yeah, just get like the Greek yogurt or something. Yeah, and take that with you. 
if you're on an early one. Yeah, I need to do something. Great. Does that sound okay? Yeah, we'll go for it. So drink loads of water, eat loads of dust. <laughs> Basically, you've That's got the program. <laughs> Okay. No, keep lots of protein in that's the most important thing right okay <laughs> just that protein that pesky protein i know when i looked on my fitness um pal and looked on my protein i was like i'm sure i've had loads today and then you look at your percentage and you're like mm, not quite what i thought yeah Catch but you're doing better out. you're doing better that's the most important thing at least i'm staying focused even on my down days when i think oh come on body uh, at least i'm not veering off and eating a ton of chocolate or something which I wouldn't enjoy anyway but at yeah. least I'm not doing that or I'm, I'm staying focused I know what's good for my body yeah wonderful right any other questions no that's fine wonderful Three, right thank pound. you very much oh, can I just do seven pound in one week and then I don't have to worry like, well yeah if you want to really go for it this week then you're fine I'd love to. Trust me, I'd love one week. One week of one good figure, I would be more than happy. Trust me. Well, if you want to go grain free this week completely, I promise you it will give you some big results. So, okay. grain free, it. loads of water, up my protein. Yeah, let's do it. I'll figure it out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, All right. then. Bye Wish for now. Well. Keep everything crossed. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Then. Bye. See you next week. Bye. Bye.